Hello, my name's Professor Brett Davies. Well, now we're looking at substitute. Substitutes that will take over the role of looking after your enduring power of attorney if your first group, if your first group of people you've appointed all die or can't do the job. So for example, let's say you've appointed your wife as the person holding the power of attorney. She's now died. If you've nominated substitutes, let's say a couple of your children, then they will then, and only then, will they take over. What happens if one of those people dies? So let's say you've got two people holding power of attorney. Well, it depends if you've answered the question several or jointly. If you make them act together and always only act together, and if one dies, it's finished. Your power of attorney is no longer in play. If it's several, they can act without reference to the other person, which may, not be un which may not be what you want, may not be as safe as what you want. So you've got the choice. If you need any help, just telephone us. We're a law firm and we can give legal advice.